when you break a story like this, the, the absolute priority is to be right. And by the time um, the Telegraph published, which was uh, about midday on Sunday, uh, we knew that we had not just a handful of details, but we had access to the nine page document, which laid out in quite some detail all the general elements that the interested parties wanted to introduce. It was, I would say, unusual to get quite as much uh, detail as, as we managed to do on the story, but it was it was just one of those um, very fast moving situations where um, where more and more details of it sort of emerged very, very quickly. It was clear to me that um, that the talks over the bailout by the uh, Premier League of the 72 football league clubs weren't really going anywhere. And, and you sort of ask yourself the question, well, if the financial need is so pressing, um, why isn't this happening? And, and it became clear through uh, a series of conversations that there was something else going on um, and that this was bigger than anything uh, we'd expected, really. I mean, the numbers being quoted for the bailout were huge, um, but what is now being proposed by Liverpool and Manchester United are, in essence, a complete restructuring of the financing and the governance of the English game um, was just a, a completely different level to what I'd expected. So, um, obviously, there's a lot of people involved in this, um, only a very small group of people know the details. I've read uh, Rick Parry's letter to the EFL clubs which says that he ideally it, it wouldn't have uh, it wouldn't have been this way. I mean I think when you are when you are proposing something as radical and um, as contentious as this I think it's it's very very difficult uh, for for these things to to be kept a secret. I mean quite frankly they I'm amazed it's it's been three years. What's been interesting to me is the reaction of some very uh, experienced people in football and also experienced, I'd say, journalists and commentators who actually seem quite split. Um, I mean, people that I wouldn't expect to support it have done and, and others that maybe I thought would be more sympathetic have, have actually have actually said it's, you know, it's completely unacceptable. And that's really rare in, in football. Generally, um, the, the sort of tribes of the game, you know, whether that's supporters or the, the people who work in the game or, or even, you know, those of us on the outside, journalists, you, you tend to be able to predict which way they're, they're going to see an issue. But actually, uh, it's, it's been quite fascinating to see that, that, that people have taken different things from it and some people are prepared to make that compromise and, and others are not.